Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale number 1765 recessed cylinder collar. And this is a very typical piece of equipment that you're going to see generally a lot thinner than this one uh, used with mortise cylinders. Um, you'll very commonly, see, you know, if you buy a Yale mortise lock, it's going to have a 1765 um, somewhere involved. Okay, uh, you may or may not put a wave washer on the inside of this area so that the cylinder head can not only um, keep the ring from uh, rattling on the door by virtue of that wave washer, but draw it down tight enough to bring the cylinder head flat with the recessed collar. So this is the 1765 shown in the 626 finish. On that cut sheet that's linked to down below this video, the only difference between the 1765 and the 599 uh, is the fact that the 1765 is square corner back here, where the 599 is radius. You'll commonly see the radius uh, model used in, uh, you know, a typical mortise lock can very, uh, very typically have a 599. Where you'll see them specified is with exit device trim. Um, there is obviously something about the 599 and exit device trim that require that back end to be slightly radiused, but that's the only difference. This happens to be a 0.75 or a three quarter inch dimension, and I ordered 10 of these because we're doing a project with two and a quarter inch long cylinders installed on double cylinder deadbolt that we're doing. I'm looking at my paperwork to try to remember what we're doing. Um, I think what's being done is a bottom rail deadbolt that requires an MS cam on like a three inch thick door. You know, something, an unusually thick door, I think is what we're doing. I don't recall. Um, the bottom line is you would order a 1765 with a greater length than standard when you require a build out from the face of the door to accommodate your cylinder. We're dealing with incredibly long cylinders and the manufacturer of the cylinders, what we needed was two and an eighth um, to make the math work. Well, we just jumped up to two and a quarter because that was the size that they would make, increase the thickness of our collar accordingly uh, for that tiny additional length, but we still need to be able to finish off the installation. Um, And that's actually, if I think of it more correctly, what we needed was inch and a half cylinders. Now it's coming back to me. We needed inch and a half cylinders, but this cylinder type that is required um, was not available in that sort of length. There was a requirement, and that's exactly what it was. We required inch and a half length cylinders for a three inch thick application for a lock body by another manufacturer. Well, that cylinder manufacturer could not make inch and a half in the requirements of the removable core that we needed, but they could do two and a quarter. So because the cylinder and the keyway was paramount to all other uh, requirements, we simply went with a two and a quarter inch length cylinder requiring a cylinder collar to finish that off. So your door is gonna have three quarter inch of cylinder hanging off of it and the cylinders are tragically expensive, but it was having the key system in place for that manufacturer's removable core, um, and then of course the keyway that would pass into it, which is why we ended up with these really long cylinder collars. So the overall length should be 0.75 um, plus 5.30 seconds, which is 0.15625. So our overall length of this collar should be 0 0.90, so it should be um, 2930 seconds, maybe? Yeah, 0 0.90625. That's indeed what it is. It's a little heavy, 0 0.913, okay? 0 0.913 is the overall. The recess area there, they have listed as 532nd, which was... about 0.15625 and my caliper is telling me it's 
0.164, okay, 0.164. Inside diameter of this collar, 1.185, 1.185. And outside di dimension of the cylinder collar, 1.484, 1.484. Eight, four is the outside dimension of this collar. We're going to add some wave washers to it. Those cylinders are going to come in with their cores. Those lock bodies will come and we'll put it all together and make sure that three inch is what we're going to get to. Now back to the Yale, you can order this at any size from 1 16th all the way to 1 and 5, pardon me, 1 and 15 30 seconds, so almost inch and a half. For your A dimension from the shoulder here down to the base, I have used, and I don't have an example of the lock here, but I've used, I've ordered from Yale these special cylinder collars to do unusual force marriages of hardware that was never meant to go together. Putting a cylinder of an odd keyway onto the back of a rim lock, uh, a manufacturer's rim deadbolt. Um, you might need a rim, Yale manufacturer's rim locks. You might need to put a double cylinder you might need that cylinder on the inside to be a keyway that Yale cannot do. What you can do, and I've done this, is remove that cylinder from the body itself, manufacture, machine, drill, cut, weld, the componentry required to get a new cylinder onto that body, but you'll need to clean up the installation with a collar like this, and that's where I've used these as well. I've forced something to work on something that <laughs> These things were never meant to go together, but it works splendidly. And Yale does a great job with these cylinder collars. So I, they're my go-to for these cylinder collars. Okay. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Yale products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Yale 1765, this one happens to be a three-quarter inch length, or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. Available in different finishes as well. It's made of brass or bronze. So you can do, you know, whatever finishes, your brasses, your bronze, your nickels, your chromes. I'm sure they can powder coat. I know, in fact, they can. So be mindful. This is 626. You can have whatever, whatever finish you're really going to need. Any questions on this or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.